Hurricane Bonnie is now a Category 2 storm with official winds of 100 miles per hour and a pressure of 978 millibars. My current projection for this storm is that it is currently at 100 miles per hour, will peak at 110 miles per hour in the next 24 hours before slightly weakening, and then around the 4 to 5 day mark it will quite quickly dissipate or begin to deteriorate as it goes down to 90 and 75 miles per hour. Looking at the model intensity guidance for Hurricane Bonnie, currently most of them keep it at either the same strength or slightly increase its intensity to 110 or 105 miles per hour, while some of them immediately weaken it, although they are less reliable models. Then you look at the GFS, the NHC, and my prediction for the storm. I am in blue, the NHC is in black, and GFS is in red. The GFS is behind in initialization, so it initialized at 65, so which is why it is way behind. NHC and I both are going with... Well, the NHC is projecting a peak of 105 miles per hour, while I am projecting 110 miles per hour. But other than that, our forecasts are very similar for the system. Taking an actual look at the NHC's forecast cone, you can see how they have it as a hurricane for its entirety of its life. And during that time, I just showed you, it is mostly a Category 2 or at 105 miles per hour for about 3 to 4 days before any weakening. We'll go ahead and take a look at some satellite imagery for the system. And as you can see, a slight eye feature that is starting to get covered up again. But it might pop back out as the system progresses. But you can see some nice banding and even an inflow and outflow starting to produce on the system. Around the edges, you can see right here how there's some inflow and outflow on the edges of the system. And some very nice banding on this particular storm. Going ahead and taking a look at my forecast cone, it is roughly the same as the NHC, except slightly more south than the NHC's. I think it'll go around right about here, but it does not really matter in the grand scheme of things as there's no land out there, so unless it does some um, crazy deviation, which is highly, highly unlikely and will not happen, it does not really matter if it's north or south out here. Just taking a look at the PDI, the potential damage index that I created. It is currently in a stage blue for, sorry for the pronunci pronunciations, but Oaxaca and Guerrero, Mexico. Currently a stage one with some slight winds and rainfall from the outer, from the far outer bands of the system. Thank you guys for watching this update, and if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for comments and updates on the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific hurricane seasons. Thank you guys for watching and signing off.